So the thesis is basically there's only one significant event in human world history, which is that escape from the Vesuvian threat, which is in fact the takeoff allowed for by the Industrial Revolution. And up to then, literally, there was no progress over hundreds and hundreds of thousands of years in terms of living standards. Despite all the technology and culture and sophistication, average living standards were absolutely stagnant and actually currently going down. The uh, Malthusian trap, you know, named after Malthus, the economist who had an explanation and who was writing exactly on that threshold of 1800, is telling us that all the little, all the various progresses which had been made uh, were so slow that they were being swamped and eaten up by respective population growth, which was triggered by those, uh, let's say, uh, productivity gains. And that's where we stuck in misery in these kind of subsistent wages. So in a way, uh, that kind of expulsion from the Garden of Eden meant in a way that we are generating less standard of living in calorie intake, diversity of diet, body height, life expectancy, lower than hunter and gatherers, all the way up to 1800 from, with much, much harder work we had to do. It seems like an enormous waste and backward uh, condition. However, this condition was contributing to the possibility of that escape. But first of all, again, um, this kind of feedback mechanism where you have these productivity gains and an, an increase in working hours and work ethic, and that's very impossible, uh, uh, which initially is, is, is that kind of shame you feel about not achieving anything, but then, uh, and there are certain paradoxes doing this whole, whole large part of history where improvements in hygiene and healthcare reduce uh, average incomes, infanticide, violence, recurrence, harvest failures, increase average income. But it was also curious that the, that the luxury at the top of the uh, uh, pyramid isn't infringing long run uh, on long run average income, so it comes kind of for free. The Black Death is a kind of empirical evidence of this logic because you had this massive um, uh, culling in the way of, of European and British, British populations, and that was where you have a massive spike in average incomes and living standards in, in the aftermath of that. Uh, but also important note that the aristocracy and the rich were not culled at that period. So we have these underlying this stagnant, stagnant uh, living standard. We have actually, of course, development. And I'm quoting now from Clark, before 1800, the rate of technological advance in all economies was so slow that incomes could not escape the Methuselah equilibrium. So there's a kind of speed problem, but it really had that competitive pressure uh, through population pressures. And then the survival of the richest is an evidence because the whole thing is, by the way, it's evidence based or quantitative uh, um, economic history. You have this logic that relative abundance and massively abundant children of the rich plus a st static economic order means downward social pressure. And then the elites kind of pushing down all the ranks and filling up all parts of society. And in that competitive Darwinian process, you have actually middle class values coming to the fore. And that eventually is a contributing factor, uh, among other things, for making that takeoff possible. That takeoff is simply finally you, you, the growth rate in productivity is larger than the biological reproduction rate and uh, allows that kind of fantastic takeoff of the Industrial uh, Revolution. I think that's only one factor. He met in the book, it's the main and nearly only factor. But there's also the, the, the negative side of this, this unheard of of poverty. So it's the great bifurcation divergence. Because of modern medicine, in those societies around the world who cannot participate or somehow aren't participating, they're having unheard of levels of poverty through modern medicine, through aid and welfare, etc. And the question is, why couldn't they escape? Maybe because they didn't have thousands of years of this kind of selective pressure in the in this Malthusian period, building up the, the middle class let's say, uh, economic characters.